Isn't God wonderful? Because last Thursday, I didn't think I'd be standing here. So, he does wonderful things. And basically, I just want to give a testimony to you. And I've written it out so I don't ramble on too much. So be assured it won't be too long. So I want to share with you tonight how the Father chose to bless and to heal me both spiritually and physically uh, on Saturday past, Saturday the 10th of June. It came out of the blue, as I wasn't expecting at all, but then that is how the Spirit works sometimes. He reveals things to us at the right time for our good. I've not had the best of backs over the, the quite a few years, actually. Um, in fact, I can't tell you when it was the first time that, you know, that I had a perfect back. It's probably going back into my 20s, I think. Um, I don't want to overemphasize it, as I could do all the normal things that people could do. But if someone said to me to help them carry heavy items, I would decline. If I did heavy gardening, I would pay the price for it for a few days. If I did too much running, like I did half marathons, for instance, um, it would cause issues for me, and I would spend a lot of money, in fact, too much money in physio appointments, in denial that I had a back issue. If I spent too long sitting around in front of a laptop, or too much time driving around Ireland with my job, it would cause me issues. I'm sure there are similar people sitting here in St. Patrick's tonight with back issues. My back has be have become stiffer and even more tense in recent years. Um, I, was, I was losing mobility in my back. I found it hard to twist. I found it hard to bend over. I tried Pilates, but it didn't help really that much, to be honest with you, unfortunately, for me. So you get the picture. Who here sympathizes with what I described? Yeah. Anyway, on Saturday past, at the DHM, a uh, day we spent praising God in, in the Vision Day, in St. Hell's Bay. Um, the, the meeting is just finished. People were packing up to go home. And what happened was a lady called Naomi, who's a member of the DHN team in Lauren, walked over to me and she said she hoped she would have had time to pray for me, pray with me. Because the Lord has shown her that I was carrying a wound um, of betrayal because someone who I thought would be always there for me and have my back was suddenly not there any longer. And it would be helpful for me to receive prayer for the healing of that wound. When she said this, I wasn't sure exactly which incident she, she meant, because I am sure, like everyone here, I was, had been hurt on numerous occasions throughout my 50 odd years. But I knew the Lord was speaking, so I quickly agreed to be prayed for. So Naomi asked Fergus, to join her in praying for me. The only prayed for me, but I somehow couldn't take in or remember what she was praying, as if the Lord knew I didn't need to remember it for some reason. But my spirit heard it all, and so did the Holy Spirit. I asked Naomi if, a few days later, I texted her and asked her, what was it she actually prayed? And she, and she told me this. She said, she prayed for the healing of the emotional wound caused by betrayal in the name of Jesus. She then prayed for the cleansing of that wound and the sealing of that wound. Well, whatever she did was in the spirit because I got this tingling in my back and shoulders where Naomi and Fergus were laying their hands and I was suddenly aware of my back muscles loosening and becoming free from all the tension I've been carrying for years. I remember being so surprised by this that I spoke out suddenly while the prayer was happening. Something like, what is happening to my back? Um, it, it feels suddenly loose and relaxed and I just couldn't believe it. Fergus told me afterwards that he could actually see 
things happening in my back, rippling in my back, and waves during the, the healing. I realized that I had been sitting upright from, in the chair during the prayer, and as I suddenly um, realized, I, I suddenly, the back suddenly released, I was able just to relax back into the chair again. And I, I just remember what it was like to relax back into the chair. And as I did this, I remember then the Lord led me and prompted me just to ask for other things for prayer, personal things in my life, and they were prayed for. And that's what happened. Since Saturday, the healing has continued to last, and I knew it would. So I'm happy to be able to bend over and move my back much more freely than I was ever before. I can't say it's a 20-year-old's back, but it's definitely a healthier 50-year-old's back. Yeah. So before um, I want to finish here, I just want to basically um, pray. But just before I say that, I want to just say this. Um, what has happened to me has taught me something I've never experienced before. That the physical can be attached to the emotional and require a, a spiritual healing. Who needs a physio when the healing hands of the Holy Spirit can do his amazing work, both in the spiritual and the physical at the same time? What I am amazed by really today, as I give this testimony, is that the Holy Spirit chose to bless me in this way, even when I hadn't been asking for it, because I didn't think he was interested in healing my back. But he was. How wrong I was. This has shown me his true nature. He cares and he will bless us beyond what we even imagine or what we think we can ask for. So to finish this, the Lord prompted me just to pray a prayer of Philippians chapter 2 over us. So I'm going to read just a few verses from Philippians chapter 2 in prayer if we want to close our eyes. Holy Spirit, come, we welcome you. Lord Jesus, your very nature is God. But you did not consider equality with God something to be used for your advantage. But instead, you made yourself nothing by the taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, you humbled yourself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has exalted you to the highest place and has given you the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, and every tongue confess that you, Jesus, are Lord to the glory of our God, our Father. So we must work out our salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in us to will and to act to fulfill his good purpose. Amen.